Good morning and welcome to Bagan. We're finally here. That was really loud. There's only one place that is like everybody knows when they come here and it's here. So I'm so excited to have a look around. We've just got our e-bikes. Uh, we've rented those. We've got 5,000 each for two days, which is kind of the average price, I think. It's like between four and 6,000. So we did okay. We're going to go on an adventure. Everything's going to be shot on the GoPro today whilst I'm riding and then when I stop I'm going to be shooting on the main camera so if the quality's not quite there I'm sorry about that but hopefully you'll actually get some smooth shots and I'll be able to film whilst going along not like just worrying about this all the time. Yeah, let's go for an adventure. And we're off! Woo! Uh, we've got our first casualty of the day. Alice just dropped her phone somewhere, which... That's not good. That's not good at all. I hope the audio works on this, because quite often the audio just dies on this GoPro. Sorry if that happens. Uh, Alice is back. Her phone's not looking so good. Ow. Yep. Ow. It's not insured either. Wow. I am Robocop! Yeah, I, I lost on the helmet from... This is not a good helmet. It's the ugliest helmet they've got. Uh, Seb's just gone back to get his GoPro strap. Just waiting, really. Temple number one. Here we go. Let's have a look around. This is really hard work. Oh, really, really hard work. Really. Um, we stopped at this impressive looking watchtower thing. It's just very expensive. Five dollars for one person. That's more than our bikes cost. Five dollars! It's really hot. Well, I don't know where those two have gone, but I want to have a look. Apparently there's one we can climb up over here. It's a shame really, because it's very pretty in there. It'd be a nice one to be able to show you. But I think it's in such good condition inside, they don't want, like, trouble. Don't want trouble. So you can't photo or film or do much in there. But I do believe we can climb on one over here. We are here. It's cool. It is cool. 4,000 of these, at the height of them making this, two a month were being built. There's your only interesting fact of the day, because it's the only thing I can remember. I will watch it. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know if you can see the paintings in here. They're all from the 13th century. I've just been informed. And they're the original paintings, they're incredible. We are going on a magical mystery tour. Apparently there's a, uh, another temple over here which not many people really ever go to and you're allowed to climb up it. You're not allowed to climb up as many of these as I thought you'd be. Everyone online says, oh you climb up all of them. There's only 10 left. The monstrous great big tower back that way somewhere. When that was built, they started closing the ones you could climb up. Basically because you pay $5 to climb up that thing to get your view. So. Yeah, a lot of these that were free to climb up before, you now can't get into. Some friend of the government or something built that monstrosity over there. If you ask the gatekeepers, they'll very kindly show you where you can climb. genuinely quite peaceful here. Apparently when we go into Olbergan it's going to be really touristy, there's loads of people, but over this side there's, well there's basically nobody. The nice guy who, um, his family looks after all of these temples, he brought us all the way out here so that we could have a look around. And he brought us to his favourite one where you can climb up again, the stairs coming all the way up here, then you can get up onto the roof of it. And there's basically nobody here at all and you've got wonderful views all over the rest of the temples. I think we're going to go for an explore around a few more now, then probably set off, grab some lunch. And then, oh, it's quite, let's go to the river later. So we'll go have a look at the river. There was uh, quite a large earthquake. There was quite a large earthquake in Myanmar two months ago, apparently, which is why all of this up here has uh, tarpaulin on it. It's all being renovated at the moment which is really sad because it's super, super beautiful. It's turning out to be one of the nicest renovations I've seen, but we can't get in at the moment, unfortunately. It's just the world's smallest staircase. Look, look at how small your feet need to be. <laughs> It's just, it's impractical. Nobody has feet this small. Well, Mum and Jess, if you'd have picked up, I'd have chatted with you too. But as it is, I managed to have a conversation with Dad from on top of this temple here in Bagan. And I mean literally on top. It's not a bad place to call your Dad from. Right, let's try and get down. Dad. 
My, my front brake doesn't work that well. I physically can't stop with my front brakes. I have a skid in one foot. Yeah, mine doesn't do that either. Wow. But this one is impressive. down the stairs inside this <laughs> weird tunnel thing um, <laughs> yeah awesome 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 sunset I'm about to lose all light all of the lights gonna go so I'm gonna stand just here um, yeah I'm heading back now we're gonna take the scooters back if anything interesting happens tonight I'll show you otherwise good night please remember to subscribe <laughs> Da, 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 da.